Taser, taser. These taser guns fire a high-volt electrical charge to stun an assailant. They're used by police forces around the world. And now the ban on importing them and their ammunition to the Channel Islands has been lifted. Today, as some of Jersey Police's newest recruits were given their warrant cards, police chiefs said tasers will be a valuable tool in dealing with very violent offenders. It'll give our, uh, our officers uh, one more uh, option of, of less lethal technology, which means that obviously our recourse to lethal force is one step further away uh, on every situation we deal with uh, where there's conflict. Yes, it's something we've been waiting for for some time. Clearly, uh, you know, we're, not, we're not there yet. We, there, there has to be a proper case put forward, and there has to be uh, not only ministerial improvement, but uh, I understand the minister is going to take it to the states for state's approval in relation to the uh, acquisition of the taser. Guernsey's force have had tasers since 2006, but because of the ban, their supplies of ammunition have been running out, and they've only had limited use. We were given the tasers um, four or five years ago and then the British government decided uh, that they wouldn't uh, allow us to replenish our resources and of course we've got our officers, our firearm officers trained in the use of tasers and uh, that, all that money would have been lost. The use of tasers has been controversial in the past with some claiming the stun is too dangerous. But for the police in the Channel Islands, today's news gives them access to an extra tool in their fight against crime. Edward Saltz, BBC Channel Islands News.